Hey everyone, welcome to this month's edition of the Prisma Chronicle. We've got two major updates for you this month. We have the release of the table field, now available in Slice Machine and the page builder. We have the release of custom roles, and then we have some small quality of life updates that we'll run you through as well. So let's jump into it. First major update we have for you this month is our table field. This is one of the most highly requested features in Prismic, so we're very excited to bring it to you. So let's run through a quick demo of how the table field works in practice. So firstly, in the same way that you add any other field to one of your slices via slice machine, it's exactly the same process with the table field. So you see here, I have my slice, this demo slice. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to add the table field. I'm just gonna label it as a table. Then I'm gonna push it to the page builder. And you'll see here, I have my table. Now in this case, I'm gonna be working on a financial overview and just demonstrate a few of the features that we have available to us. So firstly, you see here, I can start adding content into all of the columns and rows. But what I could also do is say, for example, I already have this data available to me in an Excel spreadsheet, or in my case, I have it available in Notion. I can just copy all of that, jump back into my table field, and I can paste it, and it's all ready to go. Some of the other features that we have as part of this feature as well is the ability to turn columns into headers. So you can see there, I can add all my dates into a header column. I can also do the same with some of the items in the top row there. So my revenue, expenses, and profit, I'm gonna turn that into a header row. You see, I also have the ability to add columns to the left and to the right. I can also add new rows above and below. I can delete them as well. And then also I have some styling options available to me. So for example, if I want to bold items, if I want to turn them into links or italicize, I have all those options available to me as well. So that's it for the table field. The feature is currently in beta. It's now available for all of our users. You just need to make sure you're on the latest version of Slice Machine to access it. The second major update we have for you this month is custom roles. Now what this feature allows you to do is it allows you to define different access rights on your spaces. So if we jump to the Prismic repository here from the position of an administrator, now the administrators on the repo are the ones who can set the custom roles. That's why that's important. So in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna manage the custom roles on the legal space for our head of legal layer. Now in this particular example, what I wanna do is I wanna make Leo a publisher on the repo as a head of legal, and we wanna make sure that everyone else is read-only so that they cannot edit or publish those pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter into our legal space here. So you see here in our legal space, we have a bunch of policies and things that are hosted on our website. Again, these are things that we don't want anyone to be able to edit or publish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the space. I'm gonna go across to user roles. And you can see by default, everyone in the repo is already set as read-only. So that's perfect. I only need to worry about Leo. So I've searched for him, I found him, and I'm going to make him a publisher save and now leo is a publisher on the repo and you can see from the perspective of leo here if he enters into the repo he can see he's a publisher on the space if he wants to he can publish he can edit and also the other good thing is for all the other spaces that we have leo is read only so for our content team working on the blog our marketing team working in the marketing space and for me on product I know that Leo's not gonna be able to go in and edit any of our pages or publish those as well. So just giving him the access to what he needs. But for example, if I go to the blog where I have read-only permissions, if I want to try and publish this page, it's gonna tell me, look, I don't have those permissions. I'm in read-only. So it's a pretty simple feature, but super powerful and helping you manage your access rights on your repo. Now. This is an enterprise feature, it's a paid add-on. So if you would like access, get in touch with our sales team. If this is your first time seeing Spaces and you're not familiar with the feature, we did a deep dive on that in the last edition of the Prisma Chronicle, which you can find here. Before we go, we just wanted to run you through some quick quality of life updates that we've shipped as well. If you have a link to a page that no longer exists, for example, it's been archived or deleted, we now show that as a broken link 
We also improved our image field. So now instead of having to go to the media library to upload an image, you can simply drag and drop the image on the image field and it will be immediately uploaded to the media library and appear on your page. And lastly, we have a new status page. We hope that it is something that you will never have to see. But if you do want to check it out, it's status.prismic.io. You can subscribe to updates and you can get notified when things are not going so well. Any questions on what we've discussed in this video, please feel free to leave a comment below and we will catch you again next time.